Today, we are going to talk about the future of new energy vehicles and China's major moves in the field of solid state batteries. We all know that the capacity and energy density of lithium batteries are now approaching their limits. The cruising range of pure electric vehicles is basically around 800 kilometers. So how can we break through this bottleneck next? The answer is solid state batteries. What's so great about solid state batteries? Since it uses solid electrolytes instead of traditional liquid electrolytes, the energy density is higher. Charging speed is faster. In other words, it allows the range of electric vehicles to easily exceed 1,000 kilometers. The charging time is greatly reduced, and solid state batteries are smaller, more secure, leave more room in the car, also reduce the risk of accidents. However, research on solid state batteries has not only begun in recent years, it's decades old. But until now, it has not been commercially available for mass production, mainly because its structure, materials, and processes are very complex. The cost is terrifying. Some people say that developing solid state batteries is as difficult as climbing Mount Everest. Now, on a global scale, who is expected to be the first to achieve mass production of solid state batteries? Mainly China and Japan. Let's start with Japan. Japan has been a leader in solid state battery technology as of the beginning of September 202. Global patent applications in the field of solid state batteries. Almost 45% are from Japan. Toyota is one of the leaders in addition, the second and third largest companies in the world for solid state battery patents are also Japanese companies. In order to get rid of the backwardness in electrification, Toyota, it has been announced that large scale production of next generation solid state batteries will take place between 2027 and 2028. This battery will last twice as long as current liquid batteries. The charging speed is 1.5 times that of a Tesla. Another Japanese automaker, Nissan, also plans to launch an all solid state battery with a range of 2000 kilometers around 2028. So what has China done in this regard? China not only has the world's largest new energy consumer market and the most complete industrial chain, it also accounts for more than 50% of the global market share of power batteries. Six of the world's top 10 battery manufacturers are Chinese companies. And China also ranks first in the world in terms of the growth rate of solid state battery patent applications. Earlier this year, China has established an all solid state battery collaborative innovation platform. Participants included MEET, the Ministry of Science and Technology, Academia, and mainstream battery manufacturers such as CATL and B. It was recently reported that China will invest about 6 billion yuan in the research and development of all solid state batteries. Six companies, Cattle, BYD, FAFE, Azure, New Energy, and Geely will receive government support. Divided into seven major projects, focusing on different technical routes, specifically, CATL plans to produce all solid state batteries in small batches in 2027. SAIC King Tao's first also. Battery production line is scheduled to be completed by the end of 2025. Mass production in 2016. GAC Group expects to launch all solid state battery technology in 2016. The strong support of the government means that China's goal of achieving mass production of solid state batteries by 2027 is definitely not empty talk in general. Solid state batteries will determine the future direction of the new energy market. It doesn't just depend on who owns the most patents. It also depends on who can overcome the difficulties first and achieve mass production. It depends on who can control the cost first. This competition betting on national luck. No one can afford to lose.